NFL commissioner just made sudden announcement hours after Trump threatened his tax breaks. As the controversy continues to swirl around the NFL and the national anthem protests, the financial consequences are beginning to develop. Over the past several weeks, the ratings for the NFL have dropped, and it is reported that some sponsors have started to pull their advertisements. And, all of this could have been avoided if NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell would mandate that players stand and respect the national anthem. However, that has not been the case, but that seems to be about to change after what Goodell announced earlier today. A few weeks ago, the NFL controversy reached a fever pitch when President Trump entered the fray saying that the players who were kneeling during the anthem were being disrespectful. Instead of the NFL players listening to how their protest was perceived and re-evaluate their social justice warrior stance they only ramped up their efforts. On that following Sunday, entire NFL teams decided to take a knee during the Star Spangled Banner or opted to stay inside their locker room. Apparently, these misguided players thought that this stunning display of defiance would win over more fans, but they were wrong. In fact, their disgusting antics only brought on more criticism not just from the fans but also from President Trump, and Vice President Mike Pence. So, on Tuesday President Trump took his criticism one step further by asking on Twitter why the league is getting tax breaks but refuses to enforce players to stand for the national anthem. Good question. Why do they get tax breaks from the government that they claim to hate so much? Well, that question must have gotten under Goodell's skin because shortly thereafter, he appeared to have a change of heart. Here is more from the Kansas City Star. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell on Tuesday wrote a letter to all 32 league owners regarding the protests that have taken place during the national anthem, ESPN's Adam Sefter reported. In the letter, which Sefter shared on his Facebook page, Goodell wrote that the current dispute over the national anthem is threatening to erode the unifying power of our game, and is now dividing us, and our players, from many fans across the country. Last year, former San Francisco quarterback Colin Kaepernick sat down and later took a knee during the playing of the national anthem as protest against racial injustice. More players have joined the protests and President Donald Trump spoke out against the activity in September and has continued to do so. Chiefs cornerback Marcus Peters has sat during the playing of the national anthem at every game this season. Goodell would like players to stand, but the national anthem is not mentioned in the NFL rulebook. However, players should stand for the anthem, according to the league's game operation manual. Like many of our fans, we believe that everyone should stand for the national anthem, Goodell wrote. It is an important moment in our game, Goodell wrote. We want to honor our flag and our country, and our fans expect that of us. We also care deeply about our players and respect their opinions and concerns about critical social issues. The controversy over the anthem is a barrier to having honest conversations and making real progress on the underlying issues. We need to move past this controversy, and we want to do that together with our players. Could the NFL change the language in the operations manual to require players to stand without consent of the players? I don't believe that the anthem per se is an issue that's collective bargained, NFL spokesman Joe Lockhart said Tuesday a conference call, per ProFootballTalk.com. The Goodell letter notes that during NFL committee meetings in September, the league heard from players about issues that are essential to them, and the league met with NFL Players Association leaders last week about the protests. The NFL, Goodell wrote, would include such elements as an in-season platform to promote the work of our players on these core issues, and that will help to promote positive change in our country. Goodell said in the letter that the issue will be a topic of discussion at league meetings next week in New York. Everyone involved in the game needs to come together on a path forward to continue to be a force for good within our communities, protect the game, and preserve our relationship with fans throughout the country, Goodell wrote. The NFL is at its best when we ourselves are unified. In that spirit, let's resolve that next week we will meet this challenge in a unified and positive way. You can read the entire letter right here. The only thing that will get the NFL's attention is to hit them where it hurts, and that is in the pocketbook. 
these prominent executives want to ensure that they are still raking in the big bucks and if that begins to dry up so will their resolve to protect free speech. No one cares if these entitled millionaires want to protest on their free time, but not when we are paying to watch it. They can take their show on the road and kneel all over the country on their free time but just let us watch the game in peace without liberal politics being shoved in our faces.